How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can improve upon your emission materials to give some more detail and some more realism into your projects. Now, before we get into that, my Black Friday sale is live. That's 50% off on my whole store. That's 50% off on real time materials, my shading course, my motion graphics course, and my 100 loops project file pack. So if you want to check that out, it's on duckythreed.com right now. Check it out and see what you like. Now let's get into the tutorial. All right, so we have this scene right here, kind of this LED thing, and I need to add some lights to it. Now, initially, normally, what I would do is I would click on new, and then I'd click down here and give it an emission material and bring that strength up, and boom, I'm done. Maybe bring that strength up some more, make it nice and bright, and I'm done. Now, the problem with this is it really does not show kind of the curvature of the model. It looks flat, it almost looks 2D and really boring. So what can we do to kind of make this more interesting? So the material that we're gonna make is this material here. So it's got some glass and it's got this glowing in the middle and this is actually one material. There's not a model inside of a glass model. So let me show you one of the ways, I'm gonna show you three different ways that we can add some detail into your emission material. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. Let's hop into shading and let's make this material. So. I'm gonna go here to the object and just select one of your objects, click new. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up my transmission and bring my roughness all the way down. So now we just have some glass. I'm actually gonna bring one of the default HDRIs and you can see it's just totally glass. Now we do have this emission material down here. We can add some emission to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit shift A, search and get a color ramp. Now I'm gonna plug this color ramp right into the emission and we're gonna get in a layer weight. Now layer weight is my favorite way to add some detail into your um, materials here. So we're gonna use the facing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and you can notice how the emission is now on the outside. I want it to actually be this middle. So I'm gonna go drop down, flip color ramp, and then you can play with your blend. You can just bring that blend in and you'll notice, just be very careful with it. Now we have a little bit more interesting looking emission and then you can click on this color ramp and add a little bit of color here and then bring up that emission strength and notice we have some color change it's subtle and you can go ahead and bring in your color ramp to make that less subtle you can play with the thickness of this as well with the blend but there you go we you can now see the curvature of this model gives it a little bit more detail and a little bit more interesting kind of look. And again, you can go into the color ramp and make this whatever color you want and have a lot of fun with that. All right, so now we're working here with text. Now, if you're ever working with text, you're gonna to wanna to add some detail and not make your text look like it's 2D. So you notice subtle gradients here. So if we click on the text, go here to shading, and I'm gonna show you what I did here on this model. So we have this text here and you can play with the color ramp and notice how we have some interesting looks here. And if you look at the Fox, uh, I believe the streaming service Fox, they have this kind of same vibe where it's emissive, but it's not just one flat thing. Because if we look at it as one flat thing, it's kind of boring. But if we add this here, it's interesting. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we have our text here. I'm gonna select the text. I'm gonna click new, and then I'm gonna go ahead and delete the principled, and I'm gonna get an emission node. Plug this surface here. We're back to our boring text. So let's get a color ramp as always, so we can kind of control everything behind it and um, control the color. You can probably hear some jingling in the background. That's my cat running around. She gets crazy in the morning. Um, and again, kind of my favorite blue. Let's go ahead and get in a gradient node. So instead of using layer weight, another common usage is using the gradient texture. So plug that there. Now with the node wrangler add-on enabled, comes the blender by default, I'm gonna hit control T and I'm gonna get the object coordinate right here into the vector. So here on linear, you can actually kind of play with that a little bit, see if we can get the uh, rotation going. So you can see how that gradient node is working. I'm gonna go ahead and go from linear to spherical. And then we're gonna go ahead and go scale. I'm gonna click and drag so we can move all of these at once. And you can kind of play with it like that. Notice how there's this really hard edge. 
I'm gonna go here from linear to B spline and that's gonna completely smooth it out. So I'm gonna get click and drag and you can bring in a little bit of that subtle change. And there we go, we have a nice emissive material where it's glowing in the middle and then big on the outside. Of course, you can flip that and make it glowing on the outside and not glowing in the middle. It gives you a little bit more interesting kind of look. All right, so my last scene here is kind of a bare bones kind of example of creating some soft lighting and just something nice looking here. Now it's the same layer weight no, but I wanted to kind of talk about some subtlety rather than being dramatic with the layer weight, being really subtle with it. So we'll top here into shading. So if we were to take this material that I made here and let's just take the color ramp off and kind of give it that nice calm yellow, you can see these spheres look like they're just 2D. You can't see the curvature and it's really boring. So what we did was again, added a layer weight here and I put the color ramp there. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the layer weight. I got a yellow using B spline like I showed in the first example. Let's get that layer weight. So there's two ways to do it. You can get Fresnel, which is very subtle, but it's hard to kind of get that as obvious. So we're gonna get the facing. Facing is my favorite. And you can play with that blend until you get it really, really subtle. So notice here, playing with that blend, really just make it very subtle. So you can see there is a gradient change really bright here, a little bit darker here. It's subtle, but it gives you a more natural, almost photorealistic look on your emission materials. It'll give you more detail on your scenes. Step it up another notch. Thank you guys for watching. That is the tutorial. Again, 50% off on my full store. Check it out, duckytreeview.com. And thank you guys for watching.